Hello friends, today we will learn how to write unit testing for any method using mock. In this video series, we will learn using mock K framework for mo mocking. So, for that, uh, as we discussed before, that we need to include the dependency of mock K. And uh, in our build gradle, uh, we have included mock k 1.10.6 version. Okay. Uh, this is our method that we need to write unit testing for. It takes an uh, argument score object and uh, it it uh, performs some operation and returns result in terms of string in a real world or in actual example you'll find uh, the function or method is much more complicated but uh, here uh, we are assuming that is the score this class is returned from network call and the object creation is too complex means using new operator let's think that we cannot create the object then how we can unit test this method why we cannot create the object we can create the object but the actually uh, it uses this uh, method uses get score method of uh, score object now uh, this get score value needs to be different that means uh, we need to perform some more operation to get that value that's why uh, uh, actually getting the get score value from the score object it's more complicated also we can consider that the, the score object came from database in that case also the same scenario valid so uh, here is the scenario where our input parameter or argument uh, has a complex object in that case how we can verify first of all here uh, in this method we are using instance method get score is a method of score instance or score object and uh, also there is nothing private uh, so, uh, yeah there is nothing private and there is nothing static this method is not static because where uh, this method is called using the instance so and we are assuming that uh, uh, this is not Kotlin subject or uh, that uh, OB object which is stands for singleton. It is not. It is not that one. In that case, let's write unit test. What are the uh, different methods gets called inside get review method? Only one type of method that is get score. Nothing else. Okay. So let's write. We need to write unit test for get reviews method. Great. Uh, this is get review. So annotate the method with get review. Uh, sorry, with test. And let's write test get review. Here we can say. Well, Utils. 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 Dot. Get review. This is the method that we need to or we want to verify. So this is the actual method call. And every unit test has 
three basic steps. One is precondition, another is the actual method of execution, and then final is the after execution you need to verify. So verification. This get review method needs the score. The argument is score. So as uh, we cannot create the object, uh, it is too complex. So let's assume uh, we'll use the mock one. Score is a score object. Okay, score. So we'll use mock k. But uh, in our uh, while using mock k, uh, always we need to remember that we need to unmock or clear all mocks before using it. So write the step here before from setup. Let's Okay, all marks on mock all. This step we need to write in mock k, and then in we have already got the score method, and we are expecting a result in terms of string. Let's write val result equals to. Uh, Let's try to var now. Uh, assert calls result and what we are expecting. Let's say get score. What is the value of get score method? When we are saying that we are passing the mock object, that means uh, we need to always uh, give any uh, or uh, we need to feed the all the methods. What is uh, what is called? Otherwise, the mock thing cannot be cannot be answered. That means we need to answer all, all the method calls. Otherwise, you will get error. Okay, let's verify. Uh, let's say we are expecting some some value. Now, uh, don't worry about this uh, assertion. Let's say uh, what is the output after execution of this method. Oh, it's checking time. Yeah, no answer found for score dot get score method. That means uh, we have not we have not answered the method. So uh, we need to answer all the me methods for mock object. When we are calling this get review method. Uh, this core method, uh, sorry, this core object is not actual object. It's a mock object as we are passing from our unit test. That means it tells that we need to answer this method. So let's answer. Right, every score dot get score. Returns one because it's the return type which integer returns one. In that case, now let's see what will be the result. Uh, 
this time we are getting assertion problem this is the assertion error expected value is empty actual value do not meet expectation but actual value is do not meet expectation means our result uh, is do not meet expectation but we have mentioned that our expected value is empty you see here uh, get score if it is less than 1 less than or equal to 1 the result should be do not meet expectation that means similarly we need to verify against all other scenarios so copy this thing no need to mock once again uh, you can uh, uh, return with multiple values as well or uh, uh, we can say you can return mul uh, mul uh, multiple types of values for the uh, same method or you can uh, do it one by one uh, we'll perform it one by one we are saying one type of value will be two similarly another value we need to verify with three and four, four. okay uh, so it's meet expect whenever it's two the result should be uh, meet expectation okay so right here meet expectation Similarly, for 3, it's exceed expectation. In this case, exceed expectation. And if it is 4, or uh, if it is not 3, greater than or equal to 3, uh, we can say uh, the review is invalid. It was the output. Expected output. We have verified against 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, here we have 1, 2, 3 and then 4th. Let's run this. Yes. So execution is success, and this is here we are getting all the green green tick in left side. That means all these lines got executed. In this way, we can use mock for any instance in unit testing. Thank you.